joined by Ryan Dixon, Talk United's new under 18s manager. Ryan, welcome back to Playmore. What's it like to be back? Yeah, no, really good. A um, lot of familiar faces. Um, yeah, obviously Gaffer, Downsy's still there, Ace, Laps I know um, extremely well. Um, so yeah, not too much has changed, obviously fan-wise, very similar, same faces. Um, yeah, it seems uh, the normal and very comfortable. Now you had started coaching some of the youth teamers before you left Playmore as a player. So how's this role come about then? Um, obviously it's kind of mixed dual if you like in terms of what, what with South Devon College um, so the vacancy come open obviously with Toddy moving he said look obviously they're interested would you like to take a job um, so it's something obviously I kind of jumped at because it's a good program obviously the success that Torquay's had of recent uh, year and well to be fair a few years now um, and it's something that I've took to quite well coming out of football obviously you always think you know, I want to stay in professional football men's football um, came out uh, went into the youth set up at Plymouth and it's something I've really enjoyed developing kids um, and players for the future and it's gone really well and then this come available and yeah, it's something I'm really looking forward to um, you know and helping you know the area really and Torquay in general develop football players because like you said, it's often uh, seen that uh, ex-pros go on to go to coaching, but it's not, a, it's not a given, is it? It's not an easy transition to make, is it? No, exactly that. I think coming out of football, you do think like, oh, I'll just go into coaching, I'll just, oh, I want to stay in football, but you don't quite understand that it is a completely different um, skill set needed coaching and mindset really um, you have to change and develop and you have to take that time to develop as well and learn the role um, so it is you know certainly a new thing and I think that's why a lot of footballers you know, the easy thing to do is to go into coaching but it isn't as easy as what people first think and there is a lot of dedication that goes into it but of course you have got a whole wealth of experience be it at Plymouth be it at Southampton be it at Talk United a whole wealth of experience to call upon is it, is it a certain skill to actually bring that experience to the fore and actually pass that on to the youngsters then? Yeah obviously you need the, the skill set to learn obviously originally um, to, to deliver your sessions um, and pick little bits here and there up you know through, through your licences but in terms of your yeah, experience and knowledge really your information that you pick up through the years I guess that's what kind of holds real value um, and that's something I guess which might obviously is my added value at this moment in time I guess and of course let's just think about the people you're probably working with most closely Paul Bishop, who's always been at Talk United last season, also Robbie Herrera, who's just come to us, of course, a, not a new face, particularly for Talk United, but in a new role this season. How have you, how have you found working with them? Yeah, Bish, Bish is good as gold. He's um, a talkie through and through, as I'm sure you already know. He's uh, been outstanding for me. Uh, boys love him. He um, does a lot of uh, the work, which, you know, the heavy lifting, if you like, all the organisation stuff, which makes my job a lot easier. Um, he's been really good to be around. He's, you know, one of those hidden gems, which I guess every football club really needs. Um, and Robbie, yeah, he got on really, really well with him. His experience is obviously, you know, for the area. He knows a lot of the local coaches as well and um, the infrastructure around the place. So he's been really good as well. Now, as you mentioned, it was a very successful period for the youth team, especially last year. But it's not all about results, it's about like, developing players that are going to be eventually ready for first team football at Claymore. So, what are you hoping to bring to the, to the role and the development of players this season? I think exactly that. So, in terms of a youth setup, they've had success in terms of results and you know, winning things. Um, ultimately, Torquay need to develop players to get into their first team. Um, I think that's probably what the area has been crying out for and what the club has. It's hard because obviously you do have two major academies on the doorstep, um, but that doesn't mean that it's impossible to do. Um, there is still talent, late developers, um, and ultimately it's getting the right coach coaches in place and the infrastructure in place to develop them and you know picking the right ones really, which is you know, mine and Robbie's job and Bish now to, you know, really try and strive and, you know, make a sustainable player for the first team. And in pre-season you've been playing some senior teams. Um, how are you looking forward to playing teams at your level in the South West County Youth League, which of course only starts next month? Yep, it's uh, been a, well, say a tough start. It's been a really good start. There's, you know, uh, to start with it's just been getting to know the lads, getting players in, a lot of trialists, um, knowing the standard of player available. Um, and playing against men's football, which they haven't, has been a really good experience for them. Um, and it's been a, 
a good start really for me to see where they're all at against you know higher opposition if you like um, now going into you know maybe lads their age their standard a little bit more um, that's really what we're aiming for and now we can implement our way of playing our way of thinking into them and become more of a team um, and our team principles and of course when we're talking about this pathway which is so important from all the way from the beginning of the youth teams all the way to the first team it must be helpful that you've actually played for the gaffer Gary Johnson and Aaron Dodge yourself yeah he's been good as gold they both have um, anything I need they've been there um, and as you can imagine it's a very busy, busy period for him at the moment so um, they've been oh, like I said you just touched on really that I know his philosophy what he expects his players to look like um, so it's easy really to get that that model of a player um, personality is huge um, the type of personality he wants but also to be able to play the way he wants to um, so I do know that that profile of player that you know is certainly a Gary Johnson player for sure well Ron thank you for joining us it's great to have you back brilliant thank you very much